patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is. Okay. And it, it says, you know, for when God made the promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply you. And having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. That's Hebrews 6, 13, 14, and 15. You know, it, it says in Ecclesiastes that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. Think about the, the many, many accounts. I mean, I, I can, Joseph in the Bible, you know, his brothers, God gave him a vision, showed him how he was going to exalt him. His brothers throw him down a well. His brothers, out of grace, they take him out of the well and sell him into slavery into Egypt. It goes on years, right? It's all in God's plan. All in God's plan and God's timing. Mm -hmm. Because at the fullness of time, when there was a massive famine, his brothers came, not knowing that he was even there, mm -hmm. seeking food. And Joseph said, well, you know, you meant this for evil, but God meant it for good. God was working his plan all along, right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Want to talk about timing? They had to face this, this command to bow down and worship an um, idol, a statue of Nebuchadnezzar. And they refused to do it. They would not bow before anybody but the Lord God Almighty. Well, at that point, they had no idea of whether God would deliver them physically or not. That's what they said. But they knew that God is God. So they got tossed into the furnace. Jesus was with them because he said, The three of them went into the fire and four of them marched around because God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He delivered them from the midst of that. I mean, the great example. What's the great example of how about Lazarus? Yes. Four days dead, stinking dead. But Jesus showed up. He, did, he didn't fail. It was his sense of timing. And you know what? It was actually absolutely his sense of timing. Absolutely. He could have been there while Lazarus was still. Yes. When he heard that Lazarus was sick under death, you know what he did? He, he stopped yeah. and waited. He had purpose in that. To show when, when his sister... Martha, when Lazarus, sister. when Lazarus's sister met Jesus on the way to the tomb, she said, if he'd been here, he'd be alive today. I'm paraphrasing. That's what, that's what he said. He said, well, there's a resurrection. She says, I know that. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. So he stood in front of that grave, stood in front of that tomb, and he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus. Lazarus come right back to life. And he said, come forth. God will never show up late. He'll be there when you need him. That's right. But you have to persevere. You have to press on. You have to trust in him. You have to trust that he loves you, that he hasn't given up on you. He hasn't forgotten you. That's right. You have to trust that nothing is impossible with him. Nothing is impossible with him. You have to trust in his plan. You have to trust in his sense of timing. It's not about you bending God to your will. It's about you bending to his will. When God first gave me this message years and years ago, um, and it's, that's a long story, so I'm not going into it, but I, one of the things that struck me, because at the time, there was a very famous television series. It was Star Trek, mm -hmm. the original Star Trek. Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Bones. And, you know, and that, that was a unique show at the time. It was, it was a groundbreaking show. And I thought about the many times that every, virtually every single week, you know, something would go wrong with the ship. Should I do that? It was Scotty, the engineer, would say, Kevin, I cannot hold it together any longer. It's the dilithium crystals. They're shaking apart. The dilithium crystals are always shaking apart. There's always something going wrong with the ship. That's right. And, of course, you know, if you've been saved more than a day, you know, the Klingons were off the port bow. The enemy was there waiting to kill them. Because when, when the devil strikes, brother, it comes and it comes, all right? And yet, at the end of the show, the dilithium crystals held together, the Klingons had been dispatched, and the starship Enterprise sailed off into the, into the galaxies to come back next week for another episode. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, why? You know, why? And yet, you know, I've said this in churches, and I get, the, I get kind of a blank stare. Everybody's thinking. Everybody's thinking about why. Yeah. It's so simple. It's in the script. It's in the script. That's why. 
And we have the we script. We have the script. The word of God is our script. Yes. And it's written from the beginning to the end. And the end of the matter is better than its beginning. It's going to happen the way God said it's going to happen. That's right. It's in the script. Hallelujah. We have to come to that place where we trust in it. That we trust in the love of God in our lives. And then you will persevere. You will have patience. You will have glorious patience. I hear a distant sound. It's getting closer.